Howard Community College established the Center for Service Learning more than 10 years ago to develop students who give back to the community. For its efforts, the center has been named to the President's Higher Education Community Service Honor Roll. This award recognizes excellent college community service programs, and I'm proud both our students and the community benefit. Let's hear more. Every year, 1,000 Howard Community College students take their learning out into the community, providing service with more than 55 partnering organizations. Service learning is a teaching method, first and foremost. And service learning is different from other forms of experiential education because we take a balanced perspective where the community is collaborating with us and the community is part of the process where they are benefiting at the same level that the students are benefiting. So where an internship or a clinical experience really focuses purely on the student learning and the student gain, in service learning we take a step back and we strategically link the organization volunteer opportunities directly to the content of the course. Professor Rick Leith takes students to Real Food Farms as part of his ethics and literature course. And so coming out to a place like Real Food Farm while we're talking about hunger and poverty and how that's handled uh, in literature and what our ethical obligations are uh, enables us to connect what we're reading with sort of a real life experience. Service learning takes teaching out of the classroom and brings it alive in the communities in which students live and work. It helps to really solidify the lessons that they're learning. It helps them to really continue to think critically about what they're talking about in class, um, how it's going to translate into real world experiences as they go out into the workforce, as they go out and consider being a part of a community. Not only do students have an opportunity to learn more about what they're reading, the service learning experience at Real Food Farms empowers them to do something about the issue of food deserts. This place here is situated right in the middle of a food desert where people don't have access to fresh produce. Uh, we're uh, the, the population locally isn't necessarily getting nutritious food um, other than with the help of organizations like this one. I see the practical side of it because usually we read about it, we read books and we write, we give our responses, like we write our responses, but this one, you're able to experience what you talk about, like NGOs or government uh, organizations trying to set up uh, places like this to help people who are food insecure get enough to eat at a very affordable rate. So that's very good. It's a great cause and uh, what we're doing is supporting um, a lot of a lot of families that you know can't afford fresh food and you know are reduced to um, you know cheap um, unhealthy food. So what the the program here does is they ship out the um, fresh produce like fruits and vegetables and they sell it for um, less than it's sold in grocery stores so and EBT food stamps can be used to buy it by the food as well. For Brittany Budden who leads Howard Community College's Center for Service Learning the experience can have a long-lasting impact on both the students and the community. When they are actually able to see something come to life and have the meaningful impact of knowing that they have been able to change a cycle for someone else. They have been able to take a few hours out of their time and actually make an impact. That is a huge empowerment to them as a person. And then on the flip side, from the curriculum standpoint, they're actually seeing their subject matter come to life. Things that may sort of make sense when they're reading about it or talking about it in class, becomes so much more clear when they see it in real life. I think that the responsibility of, of a college education is to help a student realize that they have a responsibility within their community. And, and, and getting out and working in the community enables them to see that it is a valuable experience, that, that it's just spending a few hours can be very impactful to the, to the local community. 